I just wanted to apologise to her for the most awful species that had put her inside those bars and was responsible for her suffering. And I think I knew then that I, I'd never see her again. But it just changed everything about my life. Everything. She's like a modern day warrior. Jill didn't have the money when she went into this. You know, she went into this just knowing that something had to be done. And, it, and her vision was grand, right? I'm going to rescue thousands of bears. I told you at the beginning, you know, my, my mother died of septicemia. And, you know, as I say, it just brings it full circle because the bears are just so stoic. They yeah. seem to be able to withstand, you know, chronic disease. Every time we lose a bear, I think, I think just takes a little piece of you. Yeah. Just a little piece every time is inevitable. She's a true and genuine friend and in life, they're rare. There's no walking away from her. She's too precious. She's changing the life of millions and millions of people around the world just by caring. Well, he was a wonderful character. He really was. There's a great saying by Napoleon. He spoke about China. And it always reminds me of the bears, because he just said, there lies a sleeping giant. Let her sleep, for when she wakes, she will shake the world. And that's how I think about this place of peace, with all these incredible ambassadors, these iconic spirits of animals that we've loved and lost in our lives.